Hey guys, and welcome to Daily Scuba News. Okay, so picture this, you're doing a drift dive in the rather chilly waters up in Norway. Things start to get a little bit out of hand uh, and uh, kind of, what? What are you going to do? Well, back in 2016, this actually happened to Per Wichstad, uh, and he, of course, had to ditch his gear, unfortunately, and uh, kind of lost a lot of stuff. But then we roll the clocks forward to 2019, uh, where Per was diving at the same drift diving spot. Luckily, he didn't run into the same trouble he did back then, uh, but he actually managed to find the set of regulators that he actually ditched three years ago. So his kit had seen better days and most of it was unusable. That was apart from his regulators. So his Apex XX 50s with a DST first stage were still pressurized and actually attached to his cylinder, obviously if they were pressurized, um, and it still contained air. So despite the cold, the fast currents, the debris, the salt water, the sea life, the regulators had, hadn't free froed or leaked it. They were still pressurized, they were still good doing doing their job and uh, yeah they they still worked they they needed a bit of a clean but um, but yeah they still worked um, of course word got out about this story and it kind of piqued the curiosity of apex themselves who made the regulators and um, they wanted to get their hands on the regs so that they could actually test them in their workshop and uh, sort of see what the uh, sort of ultimate salt water test did to the performance of one of their regulators. Three years just kind of left on the bottom of the ocean up in Norway. That's, that's a bit of a test. So the first thing that Apex did when they got their hands on the regulator was to clean out the crab shells, the stones, sea life, and sand that have sort of built up inside the regulator after three years. Um, despite the life that uh, sort of grew in it, most of the parts, the uh, the first stage turret um, still swiveled smoothly and the second stage adjusters were still fully operational. In fact, the regulators didn't really need any mechanical intervention or immediate servicing, just a uh, bit of a cleanup. So with that, they popped the regulator straight into the ANSTI machine to simulate a dive to see how they performed underwater. The interstage pressure was still at factory setting. Uh, it was clear that they were in for a good test. So they pressurized the chamber down to 53 meters down and uh, dropped the water temperature to three degrees Celsius with a breathing rate set to 25 breaths a minute. They stood back and kind of waited to see what happened. So despite the three years of hell that the regulator had been through, all the muck, the salt and the pressure, it actually passed the cold water rating test with flying colors out of the ANSI test machine. Now the Apex team were swift to point out that it wasn't an advert for uh, not properly maintaining and servicing your regulator. Obviously you gotta keep it uh, sort of clean, but they did say that it was nice to know that when they say that you can trust an Apex regulator, this story really kind of tell, shows you that you really can. So yes, that's the story. Um, if you want to see the full Apex video of the testing of the regulator, it's pinned in the comments below. It's definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it yet. And we're just going to end the video there. Um, so yeah, good work Apex. You're still building really nice regulators. Uh, do you own a Apex regulator? I know that I do. Is it an XTX50? Because I use XTX50s with DSTs. Um, do you think other branded scuba regulators would be able to survive such an equivalent test? Uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. The team quickly notified state police who then recovered the remains. They were then sent across to a medical examiner for an autopsy. After tests were conducted, they found out that the body belonged to Vanessa Smallwood, who vanished January 27, 2014. She was last seen walking out of a dry cleaners in New Jersey, and that's all detectives had known.